I'm Kate Bostorf with the City of Centerville. Thanks so much for joining us today as we talk about the Montgomery County Juvenile Court CASA program. I'm joined by Joanne Rouse, Centerville City Council member and CASA volunteer, as well as Jane Novick, who is the CASA program manager. Can you give us a little insight about what this program is and the difference it makes in children's lives? Yes, it is a national program. We have been in existence for 31 years. We have a very supportive court. Judge Capisi sits on the National CASA Board, and our sole mission is advocating for the best interests of children who have alleged to have been abused and neglected. And so our volunteers are neutral people. They're not, um, you know, having to follow anyone else's decision. They're not attorneys that have to represent their client, and they are trying to figure out what would be best for the child. Should they return home? Should they be with another family member, a family friend? Should their parents' rights really be terminated and that the child should be adopted? Now the magistrate makes the decision. We're giving a recommendation. We're like eyes and ears of the court because we're talking to lots of different people that are involved in that child's life. But we are also trying to help that child to mitigate some of the trauma by forming a relationship as well with the child. A relationship with someone like Joanne Rao. Right. What inspired you to be part of this program? I've had an interest for years, you know, so I think I, you know, heard about guardian angels as a child, you know, that was always kind of out there, you know, and then when I was in college, I actually had a friend who went on to become a guardian ad litem in Texas. And just talking to her about the program was, was something at the back of my mind that some, I would like to do this someday. And your experience so far, how has that been? Oh, it's, it's, it's enlightening. There's no other way to put it. Um, you know, you have the program itself is wonderfully run. You've got wonderful support structure in place. And there's training. There's all kinds of tools for your, your use. But as you reach out to these families and start getting to know these families and these children, you know, it's a very different life than the way I was raised. And you learn so much, um, not only about these families and the struggles that they have, and the children and how they're impacted by these struggles, as well as the different services that are available in the community. So it's, it's a fascinating program. I, I think anybody with a love of children would, would greatly benefit from serving this way. Jane, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit more about who is eligible to be a CASA volunteer and how people can get more involved. You need to be 21 years of age. You do not need to be an attorney. You um, just have to have that love of children and want to help them uh, go through the training. It's about six weeks, three hours, once a week. And after that, we have a myriad of training on all different topics so that people will feel well versed in the areas they need to combat. People have skills that they wouldn't realize would be beneficial, such as educators and social workers, people who are in the system, or people who just have that love and want to help children. And you would contact our office at 937-225-5491. Thank you so much, ladies, for being with us today. That's Jane Novick, CASA Program Manager, and Joanne Rao, CASA Volunteer and Centerville City Council Member. If you want to learn more, please reach out. This program provides such an important service in our community.